has recently come to my attention that I appeared on an episode of The Celebrity Apprentice. Um, and I finally got a chance to watch it. I finally got a chance to watch it on Hulu like a few days later. So here's the thing. The thing, I'm like getting out of drag. We were out of thing. Um, first of all, I would like to say this is not a an explicit or an implicit endorsement of Donald Trump or anything he does, because I think we all, I think we're all pretty clear on how we feel about that. So the thing is, we filmed it really a long time ago. We filmed it like a year ago. I had like forgotten that I even did it. I didn't mention it to anyone because I had to sign so many forms. So yeah, I would have. Um, we filmed it like a year ago, and you have to remember that a year ago, Donald Trump was not even the nominee. It was like a distant joke that he would even ever become the nominee or even possibly become president. It was a joke, it was impossible. So it wasn't even in my mind. The, what was in my mind was Theron from World of Wonder called me and he said, listen, uh, Carson Kressley is doing a TV show. It's kind of a major network. I can't really tell you anything about it. But uh, if you can come and drag in like, I don't know, like a half an hour and emphasize your height, like be really tall. I was like, okay, well, if Carson Kressley calls, I answer. So I answered. So I was like, all right, let's do this. I mean, that's why I moved to Los Angeles is so that when these random TV things pop up and I happen to be in town, then somebody calls me and I get to go do it. So that's great. So I did it. I went. I didn't even know. I didn't know what it was for or what it was. Literally, they put a mic on me and they were like, okay, walk in. I walk in and there's like all these people. There. There's Carson. There's Boy George. There's uh, Vince Neil. There's uh, fucking... John Lovitz, who is so fucking funny. And they were like, here, go pose with the motorcycle. I was like, all right. I wore the tallest hair I had. I played at my height. Boom. So they're like, okay, go model with this motorcycle. So I did what I do. I went and I modeled the motorcycle. It was great. It was lovely. Bing, bang, boom. The dog chased me around a little bit. Uh, I said hi to everybody. Boom, we were done. I literally spent more time filling up the paperwork than I did actually on set. So here's my reaction to actually watching it. I was aware of all the Twitter stuff and the Instagram stuff and people were like sending me screen grabs and photos and I was like, oh, this looks really great. Like the photos look really fun. It sounds like I'm a big part of the campaign, which is great. So I watched the episode. I'm on the episode for literally <laughs> five seconds. Boom, she's in. Heads up, heads up. And then boom, she's out. Okay, so my screen time was not immense, but a lot of the episode did revolve around me. So, okay, so here's, okay, let's start with what I didn't like and then go into what I did like. What I didn't like was that everyone kept referring to me as the drag queen, which, okay, I mean, I guess Bob's name is Bob the drag queen, but at least it's Bob the drag queen, not just the drag queen. It's like, it's like it's the most foreign thing that no one had ever even heard of. Like, it, 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 it was, it was wacky. It was like, it was really weird to me that everyone was like, the drag queen this, the drag queen that. So that's what I didn't like. I also don't like, I had never watched the show before. I don't like that they split up the men and the women. I think that's like, what year? Is this, why are we, is it like preschool where it's like boys on that side of the gym and girls on that side? That's wacky to me. As someone new to the show and watching it, that's wacky and it's outdated and it doesn't make sense. So consider moving beyond that next year, Arnold. Here's what I did like. I did like that they actually went ahead and said my name, Alaska Thunderfuck, and they actually said it a lot. So like, that's great. And that's really special because a lot of time when you do a TV gig, you are just, you are literally just the drag queen. And it's usually a punchline or a, you know, a sight gag or somebody's really embarrassed by the presence of the drag queen and that's where the, the joke is. 
So to have my name mentioned on NBC is pretty much really great. And I, you know, I appreciate that and I see I see that and I really respect that they did that. And I also like what Carson and Boy George are doing. I mean, they're being visible queer figures and they're unapologetic about who they are. And honestly, Carson is killing it. And to be perfectly frank, I think he has a really good chance of winning the whole thing. Cause I've went and watched the first couple episodes and he's like, he's killing it. Like the best parts of the show are when he's in it or when he's like taking charge of the of the project. He's fucking amazing. Also Boy George, I mean, is able to just like sit down and make music and do what he does best. Like that's what I love about it. I think it's great. Another thing I don't like is that Donald Trump is the executive producer. Apparently he has uh, removed ties creatively. He's probably still cashing checks from it. So the thing is, okay, if they asked me tomorrow to be on Celebrity Apprentice, I would be like, it's attached to Donald Trump. So I would think very carefully about it. Would I say no outright? I don't know. Could I pull a stunt? That's the thing. Cause had I known then what I know now, it probably would have been a different type of appearance and it probably wouldn't have made it to air. So if they asked me to be on it tomorrow, I'd be like, sure, let's do it. And then like, just let it rip. So I was on Celebrity Apprentice which is pretty cool. I mean, anytime a queer person is on TV, not as the butt of a joke, that's, that's, that's an A plus to me. That's a good thing. And I think that, um, that I got to go do that and be that. It wasn't just, it wasn't just a sight gag. It wasn't just a punchline. So, um, so great. I'm into it. And I love that Kawasaki has removed all ties from Celebrity after the episode. They're like, yeah, Finally, the episode aired and fuck Trump, which I think is probably going to happen with uh, with Carson and Boy George and probably some of the other uh, people on it that, that right now they're under contract and we filmed it so long ago. I feel terrible because George and Carson are getting flack online. They're like, how could you do this show and support Trump? It's like Trump was not a, a serious political figure back then. I mean, he's still not. But, so that's my reaction. Thank you for watching. And um, good night, good luck, and I'll see you on the dance floor.